All right. If you're looking for the best cryptocurrency to invest in long term, you might want to get these coins on your radar. This is a list of the top 33 coins that China is pushing resources on and just generally supporting. Uh, this is a Chinese government website. I just translated this from its original Chinese into English. It didn't get everything, but still we're going to get a lot of value out of this chart right here. A lot of good information and watch this whole video and you'll be better able to understand the significance of this list. So let's get into it. Welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily. Here at Altcoin Daily, the reason you subscribe is for our daily videos on everything going on in the cryptocurrency space. If you're new to the channel, join our team. Let's get into it. So the CCID, it stands for China's Center for Information and Industry Development. And that's under um, China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. It's a whole lot of words. What you need to know is this, and I'm sure you do know this, that China regulates everything from the food they buy, uh, to the TV that they watch, to the media they consume, to, to the businesses, to the internet. Everything is regulated in China. They control it, and that's including cryptocurrency and technology in general. Um, so this is the most recent version of this list, and let's start off simple. So you know that China is one of the largest countries in the world. I'm talking population. GDP, trade, manufacturing, and that's just to name a few. And it's just like how the rest of the world looks to the U.S. for certain things, you know, direction, leadership, current sentiment. Guess what? They're also looking to China. What direction is China going? What does China like? You know, if we can figure out that, that would give us clues as to what might be successful in the future. Because if you've been a subscriber to us for a while, you know this that China will often push its resources, I'm talking money, influence, connections, onto the projects and issues that they most like. And that's in an effort to develop these projects so that they're better and so that they can grow faster. Because keep in mind, make no mistake about this, the overall goal for China, generally speaking, is to be the world leader. And you better believe that China wants to pull ahead of the U.S. as far as cryptocurrency goes. That's why this list is so important. And besides that, something else to consider is this. There was this study done uh, a few months ago. It was called The Looming Threat of China, an analysis of Chinese influence on Bitcoin. And it was jointly researched by both Princeton University and Florida International University. And in this study, what they concluded is that 74% of Bitcoin is being mined in China. And you know what? China likes it that way. They love it that way. They love having control, especially now that we're seeing these U.S. financial institutions getting in. I'm talking about BACT, Goldman Sachs, NASDAQ, Fidelity. You know them all. Um, China loves knowing that they have this huge head start in cryptocurrency. And you know what? They're going to enjoy knowing they have a head start on altcoins that they deem valuable. So let's take a look at this list. Uh, these are crypto projects that China likes. Um, and just keep in mind, these are the projects that China will support through resources and connections. And guess what? If there's an altcoin that you like that's not on this list, let us know. Is there something that should be on this list? But keep in mind, if it's not on this list, I would think that there would be a reasonable chance that it would be hard for that altcoin to find success in China. All right, let's take a look. So this is the eighth edition of the CCID's list. And you can see what they grade these projects on is basic tech, um, applicability, and creativity. And we're just gonna go down the list. I'll point out some interesting stuff. EOS is number one, Ethereum is number two. Um, they both scored significantly higher than a lot of other projects on this list, score of 156 and 136. And what's interesting is that these projects have remained one and two since June of 2018, for, so for about six months. And okay, next up is GX Chain. I personally have never heard of that one. Um, this might be something that's, you know, China's version of another of another popular cryptocurrency. Oh, you know, I'm just speculating here. If, you know, China is trying to, to promote this one that maybe a lot of the rest of the world has not heard of, 
because you know they really want to take the lead with whatever GX chain does. Also, we have Komodo, um, Ontology, Nulls, and Neo. Um, I've pointed this out on our channel plenty of times. Uh, specific uh, examples of China actively promoting Ontology, Nulls, and Neo. Uh, besides that, Nebulous, BitShares, Steam. That's interesting. Uh, Steamit is like a decentralized YouTube. I would think that China wouldn't really be for that. That's interesting. Stellar waves. You can read the whole list on your own. I'll just point out some interesting stuff. Um, Bitcoin. So what's interesting is that Bitcoin has moved up on this list that used to be number 19, and now it's sitting at the number 13 spot. So did something happen in the last six months that makes Bitcoin's future more appealing to China? I don't know. I mean, maybe it's the Lightning Network. Or maybe it's just the overall sentiment that Bitcoin is here to stay. Uh, other interesting things, both Bitcoin and Cardano scored significantly higher than a lot of these other cryptocurrencies in creativity. So Cardano scored 21 on creativity. Bitcoin, I think, scored the most with 36 on creativity. And that's interesting. I mean, Bitcoin, obviously, hugely creative. Um, it was the first one. Um, then Cardano, what will be interesting to see is right now Cardano really doesn't have a working product. I think they're a great cryptocurrency company, but it's still very early on. Once Cardano can implement some of this creativity, um, it'll be interesting to see if they can go up in value because I think Cardano will be providing a lot of value in 2019 and going into 2020. Uh, next up, another interesting thing, Bitcoin Cash, Stellar, Neo, Ethereum, and Dash. So all of these scored really well in applicability. Um, so this to me says, is this applicable? You know, can we actually use these cryptocurrencies? Are they being used? And once again, the coins that scored high in this category is Ethereum, Dash, Stellar, which we know are all being used, and also Neo and Bitcoin Cash, which is interesting because I would think those, those are being used a little bit, a little bit less. But they all scored pretty high in this category. And then I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that EOS outscored everybody on basic tech by a long shot. Uh, is EOS's tech really that much better? If you're into EOS, let us know about that. Um, just another thing I wanted to point out. The CCID explained that its evaluation model is continuously being optimized based on the recommendations of the project's working group and expert consultants. So uh, they're continuously calibrating this list. Um, as I said, this is the eighth version of it. And if you want to know who these experts are that are voting on these cryptocurrencies, well, the list is right here. It ranges from professors, directors, um, you know, economics, uh, researchers, engineers, um, leaders in industry, like the leader of Microsoft China, uh, CTOs. Take a look for yourself. And the overall thing I want to convey about this list is that you should just use this as one of many factors when you're deciding on what cryptocurrencies to invest in. Yes, this does give us a look at what China will probably promote, but it's just one of many factors as far as you know what makes a good company and a good investment. And at the very least, uh, what this list should tell you is it just should give a good snapshot of the current sentiment of China. Um, what else? So last on the list um, is Decred. I've never heard of it. It used to be NEM. Uh, last uh, version of this list, NEM was at the bottom. That moved up. And also Bitcoin Cash recently has moved down a little bit, probably because of the fork. And, you know, there's, I mean, Verge is on this list. There's many cryptocurrencies on this list that I'm not going to be investing in. Um, but on the other hand, a lot of these China is actively promoting. We've showed you examples of NEO, Nulls, and Ontology all getting um, government uh, connections um, in China. And even Bitcoin with you know 74% of Bitcoin being mined in China, you know China is big on Bitcoin. So use this list as just one factor of many factors. And that's really it for the main part of today's video. If you wanna stick around, just people who will be watching the video, I'm gonna give you a little insight into China's um, mining culture, but it's just going to be um, for people who can watch the video. If you're only really focusing on the audio, this is where we leave things. 
Um, appreciate you. Give the video a like. I will see you tomorrow. It's going to be a great year in cryptocurrency. And if you want to stick around, this is a two minute clip of China's current mining culture. Um, it's subtitled, it's in Chinese. Take a look, pretty interesting. Anyways, we'll end with this. I'll see you tomorrow. Yuan 可以回收的配件进行回收再次利用你可以喝个茶